If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with T1 Stoneforge Mystic once again, T1 Baby Bear. This is my daughter Evangeline, with me for a bit. And we are going to talk about, uh, well, there's an issue that's been coming up a lot lately, a lot, in Magic the Gathering, and that is uh, reprints, the need for more. And it's something that's, um, that Mark Rosewater has felt the pressure to respond about. I did a video on that previously, uh, on his Tumblr, his blogatog. And, I mean, there's a lot that's been said by a lot of people that are more qualified to talk about it than I, but... <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's let you up. Oh, there we go. But I wanted to, you know, I, a friend of mine asked me what I wanted reprinted, what card I wanted reprinted most. And my first two answers were sort of cheaty answers. I said Zendikar fetches, but that's not a card, that's a cycle. And same thing for my next, which is the World Lake Manlands, or Land Folk, or whatever those things are called. I kind of like Land Folk, actually. That seems kind of cool. The Elemental Lands. Celestial Colin Hot especially. But again, that's a cycle. So, if I had to say that any one card in, you know, from Rare, I guess you'd say, Rare and Up, that hadn't already been spoiled was going to be in Eternal Masters, I would have bet that it would have been Goblin Guide. I thought that Goblin Guide was a, a surefire card for it. You know, just a nice little rare that you can throw in. It's not too expensive, so it doesn't raise the... Well, I say not too expensive. It's not Force of Will, it's not Wasteland. It's not Jace the Mind Sculptor. So we wouldn't raise the price of a box too much, but it's a staple in burn decks in every Eternal format. And so it seemed easy to me. Goblin Guide needed to be in there. It wasn't. Why wasn't it? Why wasn't Goblin Guide in there? Well, even though I don't play Goblin Guide myself, uh, I have before as a one of in a deck because I only owned one. And even though my worst match in Modern is almost certainly Burn, at least of the top tier decks, tier one and two, uh, in Modern, I'm I play Infect primarily. And as such, Burn is probably my worst match. Gratuitous amounts of cheap removal and a fast clock that I put on you. And my uh, Cataxian probes don't work as well, Fetch Shock doesn't work as well, so on and so forth. So, and they don't care about Eidolon of Rhetoric hitting themselves, and you get the idea. It's not a great match. It's fun for me when I do win it though, because it's not a great match. That being said, Burn is supposed to be a cheap deck. I don't know if it was necessarily intended to be that way, but Burn has a reputation in Magic, especially in Standard, but in Modern until relatively recently, for being a cheap deck. It's the easy deck to get into for, an, for a format. Goblin Guide is keeping that from being the case. And so, if I could, I would absolutely have Goblin Guide reprinted. Print the crap out of that thing. Let there be burn players everywhere. Alright. And that's it. That's my card. Honorable mention goes to basically the entire reserve list, but that's never happening, so... Oh well. Alright. We'll see you later. Say bye-bye. Big ol' smile. Can you say, kissy monster? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Big smiles! I wish you could see her smile more. If she didn't just... Drop. Oh, she's, she's ready. She's ready. She knows it's coming. When's it coming? Three, two, one. <laughs> How to learn your numbers. <laughs> okay. We'll see you later. 
Say bye bye. Say bye bye to the nice people who are watching you. Say bye bye to all your adoring fans. All of your adoring fans. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I hope you could say that well. Alright. Bye bye.